What's going on guys? So in today's video, we're gonna have some fun, but first, if you said, let me take a selfie, I don't like you. I gotta pay some bills. This video is in fact sponsored by Best Fiends. Best Fiends Forever is the new game in the Best Fiends trilogy and it has the same characters and same story, but it's a totally different entity. You get it? Cause it's like Halloween. It's a, it's a totally different game. In this crazy addictive game, you basically slap, you collect, and you level up. And while I like to slap, I clearly like to collect and level up. I mean, I'm already six foot eight, I kind of leveled up enough, but. So you basically slap these slugs, auto slapper. Let's throw some fireballs while we're at it. I have 8 billion coins, so I kind of have a problem, but it's out right now and it's absolutely free for you to download. Check out the top link in the description box and let me know how far you get. I'm currently on stage 60. You're not gonna pass me. I did get a head start. If you do pass me, you also have no life, but I encourage you to try. But on with the video, I asked you guys on Snapchat to ask me your questions via video, and now I'm about to answer them. I did get asked a pretty good amount of questions, and if you can tell, yes, it is like four o'clock in the morning, I, I have a problem. What is something that you're uh, afraid of? Like, for example, I'm afraid of needles. I hate them, like, I can't even go to I, I love needles. Honestly, I'm afraid of bugs. Like, I don't do, like, spiders, I, no. No, I can feel you judging me. If you had a chance to make a part two to any movie, which movie would it be? That's a good question that I'm not sure of. But the first movie that comes to mind would be E.T. Spielberg did an amazing job with that, and if I had the budget, I would love to make a part two. Jeremiah, how drunk would you have to be to bring your mom with you to a party? <laughs> I don't party. I have no friends. Let me, let me, let me emphasize that. I don't party. I have no friends. And even if I did have friends, I still wouldn't party. Only for certain occasions if they're necessary, but usually parties are cancer. If you could work with any actor or YouTuber, who would it be? If we're talking actors, then hands down Leonardo DiCaprio because he's so versatile and can play so many different roles. And as far as YouTubers go, I don't, I don't care. Next. What was your favorite thing to do when you were a kid? Aside from being locked up at the age of eight, because after that, I just, I changed. I was eight, but I wasn't soft anymore. I had a full-time job uh, of playing video games and watching movies. Basically what I do now, just years later. My life's depressing. If you could meet anybody in the world, who would you meet and why? That's a tough question. It depends how I'm feeling that day. Like it might be Steven Spielberg or it might be the inner thighs of Beyonce. It just depends where my head's at that day. <laughs> So because you had to tell me that you're 21 and you're allowed to drink, I kind of don't believe you now. And I don't really like drinking because, well, we know how that, we know how that goes. Oh, I look like a glazed donut, bro. Boys, you're the boys in the we give you all you can. I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. Sorry, I can't talk, bro. I'm gonna throw up. I can't talk no more. I'm done. What's your favorite thing that girls do? And by the way, I love your videos. Not complain. That's what I like. How do you get over a guy that really broke your heart really, 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 really bad? I've I've never had to get over a guy that broke my heart. But I have been through a girl giving heartbreak and time is the only thing that truly works. You can try to replace them like some batteries, but I mean, they die out too. Be patient, you little suckle penis. What's going on, man? I just wanted to know what your nationality was. Two-parter. Were you more of a Nickelodeon kid or a Cartoon Network kid when you were growing up? In part two, name your top five cartoons that you watched when you were a kid. That was that was three parts. You asked three questions. You asked me like, what was your ethnicity? Meaning like, what was it when you had it? As if I don't have my ethnicity anymore. Native American, Indian, Hispanic, a little bit of Scandinavian and like mutt, so. And I was definitely more of a Nickelodeon kid, but Cartoon Network had really good shows as well. I just, I watched both. Feels like I'm sitting in Satan's ball sack. Tall are you and from what height range do you date? Would you ever get your nipples pierced? No, eyebrows on fleek by the way. Nice job, congratulations to all of you women out there to this Fleeky kill me if I use that word again, but like I mentioned earlier I'm six foot eight and I don't really have a preference of height in which I'll date you can be like five two You can be six foot. It just depends on how it depends where my head's at that day You're not funny Trying to hide how drunk I am by using this filter Anyways, if you had one wish, what would it be?
I wish I was that calm on Snapchat while I was drunk. Like, bro, I'm trying to have sex. Dose Eki, stay thirsty, my friends. You don't want no problems, big fella. Ah. Getting drunk, getting drunk was a bad idea. Oh well. My one wish would be to wish for three more wishes. And then that cycle will continue because you didn't say whether or not I could wish for more wishes. So that's what I'm going to do. And before you know it, I have all the wishes you could want. I'm going to be everywhere. Yo, Jeremiah, what are your thoughts on the military and people who are wanting to serve in the military and who already currently serve in the military? I do not like talking about anything pertaining to your question as well as like politics and all that stuff, especially online. But to everybody that's out there fighting for this country, thank you so much. I greatly commend you. I, I have so much respect for you. But thank you for serving and fighting for my freedom as well as millions of others. I know I greatly appreciate it. So those are all the questions I'm gonna answer for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button because it makes me feel just warm inside. Like, as you can tell, look, you already hit it. I'm warm. I'm, I'm, I'm hot. I need to invest in LED lights and not these bulbs that generate, like, so much heat. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. Read the description box and download the game if you want to download and play. And let me know how far you reach, as well as follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram and my Snapchat so you can participate in future Q&As like this. And also, I know I uploaded this on a Friday because that's what the sponsorship had me do. But if you're watching this the day I upload or the day after, just know I'm going to be in production for my short film. Meaning I'm in the process of filming it and that's going to be the next upload you guys will see on this here channel, October 27th. My debut of my horror short film that I wrote and directed and I put a month and a half of time and, and so much money into this. And just, when you see it, just please watch it, share it, sit down with some popcorn with your family, your friends, and all that stuff and watch it because it, it'll mean so much so much to me. If there's anything I ever wanted you to do, this is it. I'll also have somebody there shooting behind the scenes, so I'm gonna upload the short film and then behind the scenes, so let me know if you guys are ready for that by hitting that like button, subscribing, leaving me a comment down below, and just remember, I'm only here to save your Mondays and occasionally your Thursdays. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower now because I'm covered in sweat. See you soon.